easy sancho bao is exactly that. It's very easy, lots of great flavours. Agent, I'm going to get you started on the chilli because it's got to have sure. chilli. So I'll just get you to finely chop them, but I'll get you to remove the seeds first. Nice. Um, just one or two? Or? Yeah, one yeah. or two, yeah. whatever. Uh, what's really important is to make sure that you've got good quality prawns. I, I don't think this is the time to use the frozen prawns. This is when you want to use good quality prawns and cook them yourself. So as you can see, I've already taken off the shell. I've just left the little tail because it's easy to handle that way. Nice. You, that straight. you can hold on to them and, and put them in the pan and out of the pan <laughs> and pick them up and eat them. I like that. Something like that. Uh, and then I've also got some ginger, which I'm just going to microplane straight into my bowl. Nice. And, of course, garlic. I love lots and lots of garlic in there as well. I mean, Asian street food is kind of a bit like that. It's kind of whatever is, is easy, convenient, but the flavours are always quite simple but really amazing. I'm using a little bit of sesame oil, so you don't want to use a lot of the sesame oil because it, it's obviously quite strong in yep. its flavour. And I'm also going to use an organic soy sauce, prop that into the prawns as well. Okay. And then whenever you're ready with that chilli, you can put that in there. So just give this a mix through. You could leave this to marinate again. Obviously, that flavour would permeate all the way through the actual prawns themselves. Oh, my God, smell the soy and the ginger and the sesame. It's amazing. It's such a strong smell. It's a great smell. You almost don't need the chilli, but we need some spice in there as well, don't we? The chilli. Chilli's got that capsicum. It's a thermogenic. Gives you metabolism that boost. But forget all of that. It's just it's tasty. I love spicy food. There we go. I'm getting the rush along here to finish yeah, this chilli. Oh, no, there we go. There we go. There's, uh, that's probably one chilli there. Yeah, that's, that's enough. Great. Okay, yep. good. Perfect. Lovely. So you can put that straight in the bowl, ready to go. Now, what we can do is we can make the salad. Instead of using um, lettuce and things like that, I'm actually going to use lots of different herbs. So we've got mint, coriander, you've got some raw cashews. cashews. That's great. Yeah, look, it's, it's really lovely because you get sort of the, the lovely sort of fleshiness from the prawns and that sweetness from the prawns. But cashews complement it really well because, again, cashews are quite a sweet nut. Um, I love sort of, you know, the unroasted element. I actually preferred then the roasted. Nice. And I think they, they work really well. It's a nice bit of crunch. Do you want me to chop them up? Yes, please. OK, here we go. I've got some mint leaves. These are lovely fresh mint leaves, so I'm actually just going to give it a bit of a chop all the way through, just roughly chop it. Just stem and all. Stem nice. and all. Yeah, I like yeah. that. Yeah, just get it all in there. I mean, that's the thing. I mean, I mean, how many times have you been through Asia and you've just smelt the most amazing smells and just thought that is dynamic and interesting? I've been through Asia many times and some of the smells are great <laughs> and some not so great. But yeah, there's true. nothing better than, than walking around the streets there and you see people cooking by the side of the yeah, road. Yeah. And it's often, if you see them cooking it, it's a, it's a, it's a great way of watching what they put into yeah. it and, and picking up some of their recipes. Yeah. But it's also the, the, the food that's cooked on the side of the road is the local food and it's often the freshest and yeah. most vibrant and flavoursome there is. You know, I travel a lot to Bali. It's one of the places in Asia that I absolutely love. And I love going to the Warongs and seeing, you know, some, how they actually, like you said, combine different flavours. Some of them are quite intense, you know. They love to do a lot of salted, heavily salted squid nice. and things like that. Couldn't get my husband Michael to eat any of those. But I just love to try those new flavours overall. Do you want me to dice this up, please? Yes, please. All right. I'm going to squeeze the lime straight into... Right, that's the zing. Yeah, yeah, the zing element as well. The prawns are coming along nice. They're going to take a couple more minutes, pop the avocado in it, and then we can clear this up and we can start putting this beautiful, easy sancho bao into the lettuce cup. I've let these prawns cool a little bit because what you want to do is you just want to give them a bit of a, a rough chop and nice. that goes straight. Look into... how meaty those prawns oh, are. And I'll, I will say, Zoe. I know, I do like that part. You've left a little bit at the bottom. Here you go. Mm. You can have all of them. Mm. <laughs> oh, fantastic. They're sweet. Oh, they're sweet, they're juicy, mm. meaty. Yeah. We don't have to worry about the central bow. I'll just eat the, uh, the prawn tails. How's that? Mm. Well, you know, you can probably buy you know, this on a skewer for street Asian street food. That'd be perfect as well. You've taken the outer leaves off the, uh, off yeah. the iceberg and cut it with some scissors to yeah. meet them up. You've done you a great job with that In fact, one. I think that was Adrian who did that. May have been, may have been. <laughs> I will put those prawn tails on this little plate here and that's my little snack for later oh. on. That is delicious. Mm. Now, you just mix that together yeah. like that. Great. Give it a bit of a mixed room. Let all the flavours go through as well, get a little bit of the cashew on everything, and then... It's almost like an oriental prawn cocktail in a way, you it know, with those sort of is. flavours. Yeah, Oh, Ooh, there we go. I don't, want to, I don't want you to miss out on the prawn. I was just going over there just to rip into it, and then we, I'll just hold that there for you. Oh, thank now, you. Now, that one's got a little tear in it, that leaf. I think I t right. tore it when I picked it up, but i It I'll... won't last very long anyway. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put it straight in my mouth and eat it. We'll have a taste but of that really one. Simple. Looks San great. Choy bao. Smells great as well. Yeah, um, lots of, uh, some of that extra lettuce. Mmm. 
love it. <laughs> really good. Lots of great flavour in there. The fresh herbs are amazing. It's almost like an Asian taco as well in the shell. So you pick it up and eat it on its side. It's well done, of, Zoe. It's kind of like all that street food tacos. No satchel, but they're easy. This is from my book, Falling in Love with Food. The idea is it's meant to be a nice, easy, nutritious meal, but I think it tastes amazing. I'm going to check the picture to see it back. Make sure it looks the same. <laughs> Bye.